Hello, and welcome to Shane's Microscope. I'm Shane, and this is my microscope. Let's take a peek. Today's sample comes to us from another bird bath. I just thought that first bird bath was so interesting that I had to check out another one. So, as with last time, I made sure to get plenty of sediment in my collection and to get some of that sediment on the slide for us to investigate. Let's check it out. Under the microscope, we notice that we've got ciliates swimming around in here. Cilia, remember, is Latin for eyelash, and they tend to hang out around these clumps of sediment. They know there's good eatins to be had around there. And indeed, zooming in, we can recognize that these are our old friends, the Hypotrix. And if you recall, that's the Greek hypo for under and thrix for hair. And this zoomed in view is really giving us a good show of why they're called under hairs. These particular ciliates have plenty of cilia on their underside that they use to explore the world around them. Now, I'm not really sure what this thing is, but it's too symmetrical and interesting looking, I think, for it to be inorganic. I'm curious if this is a spore of some kind. Same thing with this round shape. It's pretty clearly not some inorganic thing. I'm thinking it's probably some kind of seed or spore or something. And off to the side of it, we can see some sort of green algae. And there's a lot of species of green algae, but I'm thinking that these are of the genus Uocystis, and that's the Greek uo for egg and the Latin cystis for pouch. So then I noticed over here some of those green algae really twirling around. And as I brought things into focus, I noticed that we had a rotifer, that's an organism in the phylum rotifera, which is Latin for wheelbearer from rota, wheel, probably recognize that from words like rotate. This is kind of exciting, that's our first multicellular organism that we've seen in here. He seemed to be kind of unhappy with his original location, so he started moving around. That right there is a classic rotifer shot, so you could get a good look at him. Anyway, he seemed to not be particularly pleased with any location, and... <laughs> what? There he goes. <laughs> so I filmed him for a while. He kept uh, launching himself off of substrates and twirling her and swirling. Eventually, he did land on another substrate and stayed still for long enough for me to get another look at him. I decided to use some dark field. It really shows off how much his cilia get the water moving. You can really see all those particulates swirling around. And I used some oblique illumination at high magnification. That's a really good shot right there. Really shows off the internal structures. But he was, <laughs> he was really waving around, and then he decided he wasn't too happy with that spot either, so off he went. <laughs> so it was while I was in dark field that the real star of this show really snuck in. I noticed a hypo trick that had a little bit of a pinch in the middle of it, and it got me wondering if maybe it was going to consider dividing. So I switched to bright field again, because the dark field, you really have to set it up for each magnification, and bright field would allow me to switch between the magnifications a lot easier. 
and we can see at high magnification that it is in the process of dividing. You can see that it's really pinching together in the middle and that there are still things that are shared between the two cells. Looks like it was really munching on that green algae. That's probably why it's ready to divide. Being well fed, favorable conditions, it's much warmer in my house than it is outside. And as we continue to watch, there's starting to be a very clear division between those two halves. I started thinking of the one in front as kind of the piglet because it <laughs> it took most of the green algae for itself. But there's plenty around in this sample, so I'm not worried about it. I think it's really interesting that the way they divide is with them both facing the same direction. And each one of those twitchy movements, I felt like, brought them closer to dividing. At this point, they are barely connected, and I felt like when they separated, they were going to go flying apart, so I needed to go to a lower magnification. There's a full-size hypo trick that just swam by to give you a sense of scale on them. Oh, there they go. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's the first cell division I've witnessed. It took about 14 minutes of observation, but once I recognized what was happening, I didn't want to miss it because that's, that's just too exciting. And then they kind of stayed together for a bit after they divided, so I was able to get nice zoomed in shots of both of them. Well, that was a very lucky find. All right, well, I think we'll leave it there for the day. Thanks for having a look with me. Until next time, keep on peeking.